12th standard english grammar direct and indirect speech revision already we have seen that again we have to give the revision direct and indirect speech okay first when we change into direct to indirect and indirect to direct just we have to remain how many types of sentence okay let me say that first one statement interrogative imperative and exclamatory so we have four types of sentence after read the sentence and then we have to find out what kinds of sentence okay just first statement statement second one is interrogative interrogative third one imperative imperative and fourth one is exclamatory sentence exclamatory okay statement interrogative imperative exclamatory we have four types of sentence okay uh here statement how will you identify the normal or information we can use that statement interrogative just we can ask question to someone okay so end of this word question mark imperative command order request okay we can use imperative exclamatory exclamation marks exclaimed sorrow always <coughs> happiness moments okay we can use that exclamatory so end of this word exclamation marks imperative command order request request advice okay command order request advice so we can use that imperative okay interrogative just what i have said just you have to ask question to someone okay question marks statement normal or information okay just uh, already we have seen that just we have to give uh, one example one more example by this from this four types of sentence statement interrogative imperative exclamatory Ravi said do money Okay Ravi said do money invited comma start I am writing test I am writing test now Okay invited comma close Full stop. Okay, here just we have to identify that what kind of sentence, whether it is statement, interrogative, imperative, and exclamatory. Just we can easily identify that, and then after find it, just we have to um, identify that what kind of tense and then tense forms. I am writing. Okay, this is present continuous. okay according to the rule if we have present continuous want to change past continuous okay so here this is statement okay how to change direct whether it is direct or indirect direct speech because ravi said to mala there is one speaker there is one listener and then inverted comma start okay just we have to make it indirect speech ravi said do instead of said do we can use told ravi told mani that instead of comma quotations you can use that ravi told mani that i am writing test now i am writing present continuous according to the rule 
if we have present continuous, want to change past continuous. What is the speaker here? I am. So I am here. It refers to speaker Ravi. Okay, Ravi is your main person. So we can use he. Okay, instead of am, we can use he. He just want to change past continuous. He was writing. He was writing a test. He was writing a test. Now change to then. So this is present continuous level. Just have to change past continuous. Okay. Suppose if we have simple present tense form, simple present. Okay. What do you want to change? Simple past. For example. For example, I am writing, I am writing a test now, present continuous, I write a test. I write a yeah, test now. I write, so there is no present continuous form. This is simple present continuous, this is simple present, okay, write. Okay, so the same Ravi told Mani that I write a test. I who is speaker Ravi. So here pronoun he. He wrote he wrote a test then now change to then. Clear? So according to the rule, if we have simple present, we want to change simple past. Wrote is simple past. If we have present continuous forms, we want to change present continuous means past continuous. Okay. Now another one, if we have present perfect statement, if we have present perfect, we want to change past to perfect. If we have simple past the statement, direct speech, we want to change the same past perfect. Past to perfect. Uh, two types. If we have present perfect, want to change past to perfect. If we have simple past, want to change past to perfect. Okay. Uh, then I will give uh, interrogative types. Interrogative. Interrogative. There is two types. One is SNO type, another one is WH question. S or no. Another one is WH. WH types. The question asked from W or H. When, okay, uh, how, okay, can you use that? For example, Sheila. Said to Malar. Sheila said to Malar. Are you mad? Question mark. Are you mad? Sheila said to Malar, are you mad? This is question, interrogative. Okay, just how to change. She, this is interrogative types. After find it, just we have to make it. Okay, are you mad present level? Okay, so here how to change. Sheila asked. Sheila asked Malar. Sheila asked Malar. Here, are you mad? Is it S or no type or WH question? Are you mad? Yes or no? So this is S or no type question. Okay, so we can use whether or if. Okay. Sheila asked the mother if she was mad. If you change to pronoun here, she. If she was mad. 
man. Word is weather. Weather or you can use. So this is get some more type level. Okay, next one kind of sentence. W H level. W H types. Raja said to Siva. Come on, quotation start. When will you meet me? When I will. When I will meet you. Okay. Raja said to Siva, When I will meet you. Okay. So here, this is interrogative tense, and then tense forms simple future. Raja asked. Raja asked Siva. Okay. So this is WH types. Okay. There is no SRO type level. Okay. Here, uh, Raja asked Siva. There is no conjunction word. Same question word we have to use. When I when I would meet him, when I will change it to past would. When I would meet him, meet you, you change it to pronoun here him. So this is indirect speech level. Raja asked Siva when I would meet him. That's all. Okay. So this is uh, just we have seen that statement and interrogative types. Statements we have uh, present continuous level and present perfect, past perfect, and then simple past. According to the rule, how to change direct to indirect and indirect to direct. And then we have seen that interrogative types. Interrogative types there is two types. One is SRO type, another one is WH question. Okay, we have seen that. Okay, next class we will continue that imperative and exclamatory sentence. Thank you.